two things to say. Fire Dragon's Iron Fist for the motherfucking win. That was epic as hell. And Kyoka is a dumbass shit idiot. So this chapter, for the most part, it reminded me of last week's chapter in a sense that not too much happened. There was a really epic moment again when Natsu and Igneo were both fighting their opponents, Margear and Acnologia. That was epic as hell, but we didn't get really too much progression in the fights. I mean, we did get the fact that both of them can take out their opponents, so it's not like an impossible fight. We've seen the Acnologia probably for the first time experience some serious pain when he got hit by Igneo, and likewise Margear. I don't think we've seen Margear get hurt, which kind of really shows the difference between, once again, Rogue and Sting against Natsu. They were fighting him for I don't know how many chapters, and what have they done? He still was holding his book and laughing. Meanwhile, Natsu comes in in one chapter and knocks him like, yeah, Sting and Rogue, crusty for life. I just really hope this isn't going to go the route of, yeah, Natsu is angry, he's fired up, and he's going to beat the living shit out of Margear without Margear being able to do anything. It doesn't seem like Margear is out the race right now. He seemingly is still trying to make things go down, but the fact that Natsu was able to do this and like one blow already, you know, reach him and knock him definitely makes me fear that Natsu is going to come in and just absolutely annihilate him. And I hope that's not the case because I know Sting and Rogue just aren't nowhere near on Natsu's level. We've seen it time and time again, but Jesus, he came in and fucking knocked them. But the part of the chapter that just had me like, oh my gosh, really? It felt convenient and just stupidity on so many different levels for Kyoka. First of all... How many fights are they going to have already? Kyoka versus Erza, the final fight, the final fight, the final fight, the final fight. It feels as though they've had 10,000 final fights already. So I just really want this to be the final scuffle that they have. Like, whatever it may be, just finish it. But number one, first of all, Kyoka basically saying, Okay, I'll give up my life for Zeref. Why not? I was just like... Well, if that's part of her character, fine. It feels stupid to me to give up your life in a drop of a hat when she clearly was like, but this would mean I would forfeit my life. So she does somewhat care about herself, and then it's just like, ah, oh, the hell with it, I'll die. But the biggest thing that had me like, really, really, was when Kyoka tells Erza how to stop her and how to stop Face in a sense. Because once she merges with Face, basically they are one, and she says, simple, you beat me, you beat Face, you stop it and everything. I'm like, really? Not only is that convenient as hell, so okay, this is how we're going to stop face, but also Kyoka, how fucking dumb are you when you're supposed to be one of the main top branches of Tartarus? And I know they try to play it off like, oh, she's really cocky right now, but it just felt really convenient and it's like, Kyoka, you just done fucked up. I can totally see it. Eris is going to fuck her up and that's going to be the end of face. And at the same time, that last slash in the end where I was like, all right, Kyoka's putting up a fight. That's good news. When she goes into her true Aetherist form, she slashes through Erza, and instead of, like, us seeing blood or something, it's like, oh, look, Erza's nice titties. Like, yeah, we really need that right now. Come on. That clearly should have been, like, some blood. Like, oh, shit, she's going in. But instead, it was a fan service moment to end the chapter. So the beginning of the chapter, good stuff, cool stuff. We get to see father and son teaming up, going up against their opponents. That combo was pretty cool. But from the midway on, it was just like Kyoka making stupid decisions. And ultimately, she's going to cost them the mission. Not to mention, I'm really hoping that this isn't the case. And he was just taken by surprise, finding out that that's his son, you know, Natsu. But Mard Gear getting hit that easily and looking like Natsu's going to tear him up. I hope that's not the case. Obviously, a lot of this fight is building up to end's revival. I'm pretty sure as much as we've heard this motherfucker's name, we're gonna see end one way or another. And I can totally see right before Mar Gear gets fucked over, maybe he'll sacrifice himself to revive end. Which we still don't even have the exact details on how to revive that motherfucker. So yeah, with all that being said, I'm giving this one a 6.5 out of 10. Midway through, it felt cheap. It felt like, why are we looking at fan service? That should have been a cut or something or a stab wound. And yeah, Kyoka is just like fucking up all over the place. Can N just show up and like obliterate Mark Gear and Kyoka and show them what a real villain is? Assuming N is going to be as beast as he's been cracked up to be. I want to see more of that Igneo versus Acnologia. That shit looks like intense as fuck. I mean, Acnologia, one of the greatest villains in fairy tale. Igneo, one of the most hyped up heroes in a sense of fairy tale. This is an incredible battle going on right there. Let's focus up more on that stuff because that got me excited. Let me know what you guys thought of this chapter. What do you think about Kyoka? The mistake that she made? Do you think that this is going to be it? This is how Face is stopped. Eris is going to stop her. Which, by the way, how many times is Face on the verge of K 
counting down and finishing and activating. Also, Mark Gear, do you think Natsu is going to give him that one, two, three, I'm fired up, fuck you up, you're a piece of shit action next week? And Akilogia versus Igneel. I still, I, I don't know who to put my money on. It's like, Akilogia is my favorite villain, pretty much a fairy tale, except maybe Zeroth. Yeah, great fight going on there. And your overall thoughts of the chapter. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that would be awesome. I'm Fanel World. And as always, people, have an awesome day.